uh, it's genuinely like people need to understand that every artist is doing what he's doing. But what I'm saying is what artists do, the reason why their hearts harden is because their reality of their time, how they got up, it costs nothing for somebody to support your local artist. I mean, you literally have, we understand, once we start, once the music industry starts breaking down to us, we start seeing those uh, 100 million views starts to break down to that one person's hand we shake. So then we start to understand what's necessary towards, uh, could you share this? We start understanding that that's not small anymore because that can turn into 2 million shares. The literal sales are coming from people. Once you actually understand that, you start going to target those people, and then those people start to show you how much they don't give it. They don't really care about you. And then that, that you start getting an ongoing feeling. Of, I mean, you got to think about it. A lot of these artists, you know, yeah, okay, you talk to me, you got, your life is going to be changed. That would be perfect. But I would have loved that to have that when I was grinding, when I, was, when I, I, I had $5 in my, in my pocket, no family member could help me, and I got um, I, I to starve. You wasn't there, you know what I mean? Like, you wasn't there for those times where I was in the rain or I was uh, – those times where those uh, engineers decided who, who was rappers too, and they were uh, insecure about our verses together. So they took me off they, – they deleted it and said, oh, it's, a, I, it's an Apple computer, but the power went out, and miraculously that, com- that song got deleted. And our music is our soul, so you just deleted my soul. You just de- deleted pieces of myself. You, you go through a lot of these uh, 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 different avenues in the industry that nobody is seeing these artists have to um, jump these hoops, you know, jump these hoops to get through, and everybody is just seeing, okay, it's just like the, the tip of the iceberg. Everybody is, is seeing the tip of the iceberg, and they're deciding to come with, and, and, and they're belittling, they're ultimately belittling our intelligence on a day-to-day basis, where it's like people who in direct, um, not cognitive dissonance, but in direct, uh, uh, paradigm shift, they were one way, uh, which you want, you saw how they responded to you. Their whole energy was, no, I don't, I don't feel you. I don't this. But as soon as you look like you're about to be something, now they want to be that rapper's friend. Like it's up to like that, that we, we get to that point where you have to decide to understand that if you were in their shoes, you would do the same thing but you were in their shoes, so you made yourself something different, so you don't see why they can't do it either. But at the end of the day, you knew it, it, this is the other thing that can help those artists not. You knew that that was, you didn't get there alone. Artists are fucking lying. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, self-made, I'm not going to lie to you. There's, we can call ourselves self-made because we had the nose to know what was uh, beneficial for our career, but it, you can't, it's, 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 it's there's no way you can say you got there alone. Like, you, it was that one person that said, oh. I see this in you. And you got to keep that alive for those other people. Those people who betrayed you and all those people who's turning their face on you and things like that, that does not, that shouldn't weigh over to the people who deserve your hand. They deserve that hand that, you got that hand, so why not you be that person that give that hand back as well? So uh, that, that's why I believe artists do it, and that's why I'm different in that venture. Yeah, and you made a lot of good points um, just with everything you were saying, especially, like, the artists have to be cocky part. Like, you have to at some point because there's so many doubters when you're trying to pursue being a musician. It's always, it's always going to be somebody telling you you're not hot. And that, it's always somebody trying to make it seem like you're not really doing shit. So if you don't have that thick skin to be able to stick your chest out and be like, I know my shit is dope, I know I'm going to be something big one day, you're going to fall because you won't even be able to handle all of the, all of the doubts and naysayers, you know what I'm saying? And especially um, with the rest of the blogs thing, like one of the reasons why I started my own blog for artists is because there was so many dope artists out there that couldn't get any press. And, like, I'm talking to them, and they like, man, ain't nobody posting me. Or if they're trying to post me, they're trying to make me pay them to post. Or if they do post, it's like just my press. Like they're not actually listening to my song or doing a review. And I'm like, that's, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like these artists work too hard. Like people don't know what it takes to be an artist. Like all of like, just the emotional toll that it can take on the artist. Where you just happen to just make sure you come up with the best shit possible. Hoping that people hear you putting in hours and hours making sure the mix is right, making sure your words are right, make sure you pick the right beat, make sure you can get the beat. Once you do find the right beat, if you're not producing for yourself, it's, it's so many just 
pitfalls that an artist can fall to if they don't have that thick skin and really just know that this is for them, it's so easy to fall. Like, what has helped you stand strong during your journey of being an artist? Um, honestly, I'm going to touch on a lot of the things that's like kind of like the drawbacks from being an artist. Um, first off, as an artist, uh, you're going to deal with the most egotistical people in like the, your industry is the most egotistical people. And there's a reason for that. They had to make their persona something that actually mattered to people. Okay. So, um, that persona of being an artist or being a DJ or being a radio talk show host, uh, the Instagram personalities and things like that. You making yourself that you have to bring in, you have to have a certain amount of will to actually contract that type of authority on the world anyway. Um, understanding that I've uh, I've understood this through uh, martial arts. Um, when I was uh, around ten years old, I started training in martial arts, um, and I've been training for thirteen years. That has been um, the monolith. That has been the catalyst. That has been my go-to. That has been my. I will not be broken because. Nothing will break me physically, nothing will break me mentally, nothing will break me spiritually. So um, this is a decision. This is a, a lot of people don't put enough effort to their approach to life. Um, you want these things to happen. You want these things to work. You want these things to manifest. Then you have to be the battery. You have to understand what that means. That means you have all these hours in the day. You say these people ain't posting you. How did you come to them? Yeah, they're going to ask you for money because you came to them like everybody else. Come to them with something new. Come to them with something that provides value. You know, there's a way that artists, this is the best way you should do business. There's a certain word for it. I'm not really like that scientifically well-versed to know the word, but I can tell you the analogy Mm -hmm. or I can tell you the situation. The situation is when you are in business, make it like the alligator and the bird. The bird cleans the alligator's teeth and gets food. The alligator gets clean teeth. Now, what this analogy means is provide mutual value. And I like to over-provide value with people I work with so they can be motivated to do more possibility and more fruitful things and not just inconvenience, but because once you support me, my heart is in everything that you do. It's only fear because I don't want to feel like I'm just using you. And that's how you don't use that person. You feel, you, you genuinely, like, this is my own natural, like, I'm trying to teach other people to get to that point, but this is my own natural uh, default anyways. I naturally already want to invest into somebody else's potential in their, their future. So when I feature, even when I, it even goes into when I feature with people. That's why I'm not insecure about features. It's the collective of the song. And as well, I want to breathe into that person's uh, musical potential. I want that, that sound that they're making to be the greatest thing ever just because I encountered it. And it doesn't matter if they know it or not. And at the end of the day, there's profound things to place your mind on that will refill you when you're drained by this industry. Your heart is going to be broken. That is in everything in life. That is why every story, like Michael Jordan not being able to get on his middle school basketball team, Einstein fell in his, all of these different things, all of the greatness has led with something that was a failure. You cannot see failure as something that is, is going – if failure just makes you stop, you are just something willing to fail in you. You have to see your success. You have to breathe your success. You have to believe your success before anybody else mm-hmm. does. And that is how it will leak over into everybody else. No matter what, that is, you have to go, your mindset is the first thing that works as an artist because guess what we're using, what we're drawing from? We're drawing from that subconscious. That subconscious, the reason why we can't reach it in the conscious plane is because it is not in that language. We have these emotions to let us know what is going on on the inside. And the inside, we're, we're, we're professing these things. So get that together before you start trying to be an artist. He won't be broken so easily. And being good to people, being good to people, being good to people have take have taken me, have blown. I I literally did not allow myself to like I, I've been I I, I could have gotten this game when I was 15 years old. I'm 23. I waited until last year. This no, I waited till last year November to come out as big a stick. And the reason why I've gotten this far, been able to be featured on projects with 21 Savage, Black Boy, JB. Uh, black youngster being able to uh, feature with artists that feature with Lil B, Bun B, um, uh, 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 Toy Lanes, and be able to talk to uh, uh, millionaires like Nafu, uh, be able to uh, befriend people that was friends with XX uh, Tension that was like uh, uh, that's uh, working with QC uh, named Lil Chubby. Like all of these people have come from my genuine flair that professes that projects to them that I'm different because I am. I, I, the things that I allow myself to feel 
are not things I'm getting myself to believe. They are already things I accept. So accept yourself first before you come to this game. Then you won't care about rejection because you accept yourself. That's actually a great point. And I tell people all the time, like, just being a naturally good person will get you very far in life, period. Like, because nobody wants to deal with an asshole. Like, it don't matter how much money you got, how beneficial the situation can be. If you're not a good person, people just not going to want to deal with you. So just be cool, and I promise you, you'll get through a lot more doors that way. All right, I 1,000% agree. Yeah, but what I like to do now, I like to get into some more music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that bigger state blessing freestyle. Okay, okay. I hate, oh, oh, also, my bad. Um, Basically, my editor at the time, I didn't change it because, like, the views went up to, like, 60,000 on Instagram. But my editor didn't know the song title changed. changed. The title is called The Light on uh, Spotify, just for, like, being able to find the correct um, song on uh, iTunes, Spotify, uh, Pandora, everything that you need to find it on, on every platform and things like that. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I was just giving them a uh, uh, back. I, I didn't let you know that. I'm sorry about that. Oh, so, so in Biggest State, The Light, that's how they can find this one. Yes, sir. All right, then. Let's get into that Biggest State, The Light right now. All right. I just like to, um, music is like a, a physical feeling for me. So 
Um, I like to make sure as well, like I'm trying, like I want to be able, like my my goal on freshman XL on any freestyling 